Today we extend into HCP crystal structure. So HCP on the top you got seven, below got seven, then you got three in the middle. Right. So previously for BCC, uh, BCC, FCC, you have a uh, HK and L. You can HK and L. Uh, which allow you to do slicing on different plane. For example, this exercise. So you're able to you're able to identify the location of the the sphere or location of the cutting, the plane, all these things. Okay. <clears throat> so remember, we, there is a video that you need to go and see where we how want to find, find the equation a 3D of a line, line passing through, through the point two one known three plane, two, uh, two known and the point uh, location. Negative. So for HCP, you have three uh, at the base, three parameter at base. You have A1, A2, and A3. So A1 is this line uh, from the center molecule, base uh, base center molecule. So towards or go outside the, the, the paper or screen will be positive. Go inside will be negative for A1. And then move to the right will be positive for A2. Move to the left will be negative for A2. And going into the screen will be positive going outside will be negative okay um, so each plane will have 120 degree with each other means a1 with a3 and a2 will be 120 degree with each other Okay, then another axis will be C. Lah. C will be the height from the base to the top plane. Um, for HCP, remember we calculate the unit cell first, which is the parallelogram cubic, which is highlighted by the uh, uh, board line here. We calculate individual uh, cubic, you can say a cubic, that our parallelogram. Then we multiply three to become large cell this is a procedure when we analyze for hcp okay so when we analyze for hcp we will convert this diagram into this form right so we will draw our base a center origin will be at the base and pointing a1 a2 a3 so just now the statement 120 360 divided by 3, each axis to axis will be 120 degree, and the C will be going up. Okay. Okay. This is the plane. This is a plane. So if you have, okay, this plane, bottom one, bracket means plane. Bottom one will be 0, 0, 0, 0. So you have HKIL, HKIL. So on the top here, because it move up one unit up, so you have zero, 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 one. Okay. So here you can have, you can see this one as A1, A2, A3 value. So when you do plane, we need to apply the Miller law where we reciprocate or we inverse the number. So you inverse zero, get infinity, infinity, infinity. You inverse one, you get one. Okay. So we try to find the intercept for this priest or parallelogram. Uh, priest plane. So all these are given you the plane of the priest. So for example, this one, how you arrive at 0, 0, minus 1, 0. So this plane, 0, it is because it's from uh, 0, 1, 0, uh, A. 
So this plane in infinity in A, A plane, A1 plane, infinity. Then the second one, A2, it move one step from the origin. One step from origin. Then this one in uh, negative, so means is move A3. A3, positive, go this way. So you move negative, so you get a point here. Okay, so here is zero, means zero means you doesn't move or you, it's an infinity plane go up, so you still at here. Then uh, A2 is one, so you move towards this direction. Mark this A2 location. Then minus one going in is positive you reverse back to a minus a3 one point here you mark here because a1 is infinity so you join these two lines and you draw a plane up uh, this is infinity for a1 uh, zero also zero c is infinity so it's going up uh. so you have this this uh, all these uh, intersection point if we're given 0, 0, 1, uh, 0, 0, 1, uh, and so on. Same with this one. Okay. 0, 1, 0, min minus 1, 0. So here, 1, it means your, you move one step from origin A1. If you see 1, it means you move one step A1. You mark here. This one, infinity. A2, infinity, means you uh, move. Up, uh, move up infinity. Uh, then A3 minus 1. Still you move here. Then 0 means infinity. Okay. Or you can see infinity as you can join the line along the line. For example, here 0 for A2. You just move along A2 parallel. Uh, same with this one. 1 minus 1, 0, 0. So minus uh, one is A1. You move one step here. You mark A1. This one, A2. A2, negative one. So from center, this is positive. This is negative. You move one step, mark here. Zero means infinity. A3, infinity. A3, infinity. This is uh, A3 line. A3 line, if you see in zero means infinity, you can just draw a line along the line means infinity, so it's in this direction, infinity. The third, uh, fourth number will be the C. Zero means infinity, go up. Okay, this is how you draw the plane. Okay, you should be able to do for the back one, uh, this one, this one, and this one. And even middle one, uh, you should be able to do middle one. So this, this uh, diagram, you already have the three answer. So for sure, the test won't ask you these three. You have other option that we can ask you. Huh? The other surface inside here that we can ask you to identify the plane. Yeah. Uh, so take a note. Lah. So you won't, uh, you won't see this, this three plane anymore, but you will see one, two, three, four, five, six, another six you should able to do. Huh? Okay. The rest you read, huh? Okay. If you want to convert from four number into three number, there's a step to convert HKIL into HKL by taking the H plus K. Means you take H plus K equal to minus something huh? so how do you do uh, this one we have one exercise to do this one huh? okay the rest is just uh, this is review direction bracket uh, planes will be round bracket without the comma if you put in comma it become location coordinate uh, okay, this is just a review uh, for example this one <clears throat> Square bracket is a direction. So, like for example, the orange color arrow. Uh, 1, minus 1, 0, 0. So, 1. Mm -hmm. So, A1. 
you move one. All right. This one minus one, A2 minus one. So it is this direction. Zero, zero means uh, don't have movement in A3, don't have movement in C. So you combine A1 and A2. You combine A1 and A2 vector, you find resultant, you get this direction. So this one is more easier. This one is 1, 1, minus 2, 0. 1 is A, A1, you move 1. Then this one is A2, A2, you move this one. So you have this, this direction, this direction. This one, A3, minus 2 means it's moved back. Okay, it moved back. And zero without moving. So you do the resultant, then you get the thing. Okay, so this needs some time to process. Huh? This is some time to process. Okay, now we start going to volume. Okay, start to go into volume. Okay, volume density. Volume density here is volume and density given by rho v equal mass divided by volume. Basically, it's a density formula. How you, how you calculate density? Density equal to kilogram over meter cube. So you take the mass divided by volume. Okay. But in this case, because it's volume density of metal, you look as unit cell dimension. Okay, so mass in the unit cell, volume in a unit cell, huh? per unit cell. So you, you, you write as a rho, then sub V as a volume density. Uh, this one we will be using hot sphere automate model and value the exact value through experiment using X ray uh, machine uh, XRD. Okay, XRD is a machine. XRD, uh, diffraction analysis, is a machine. Uh, it's a machine, microscope machine. So, for example, then density for copper will be 8.9 something. Uh, be careful on the unit. This one is in megagram meter cube, equivalent to something in gram cm cube. Okay, so practice if you don't know how to convert meter cube into cm cube. And experimental, you get 8.96. Experimental, a bit higher compared to the theoretical, means pure copper and perfect case copper. Uh, experiment, why the value is higher? Because when you do X-ray, uh, transmit and reflect all these things, you know that light have a reflection. So there is a uh, error in the measurement. So that's why the, the value is a bit higher compared to theoretical. Okay. So these are the things, uh, uh, the factor that give you error. Like when you do your lab later, we will give you one value, then through experiment you measure. So you need to explain why there is a differences. Um, so for this case, it's because of defect. Uh, we will have one chapter, learn about defect. Uh, then mismatch of grain. Also defect, part of the defect and human error. Or it, it might be need to add a machine error. Okay, so <clears throat> some textbook give you a formula to calculate uh, this formula. How you calculate mass? Mass, you can use Na divided by uh, Avogadro number. Okay, A is atomic number, N is number of atom. Okay, 
uh, just memorize this one. If not, then you memorize this one. Uh, you have to recall how to calculate mass if you're given uh, molecular weight, number of avogadro, avogadro 6.023 10 power something. Huh? That one. N is number of molecule, uh, number of atom that you need to cut to get the mass. So this one, VC is a volume of the cube, which is where you need to get the A to calculate the cube, the A for the cube. Okay, A for the cube. So BCC have one equation for A, BCC got one equation with the R. FCC also have something R. Okay, don't confuse between these two. And go and memorize uh, example of BCC, example of FCC, three example for BCC, three example for FCC. Go and memorize, okay? Oops. Uh, typo error here. Number of Agado, not 16. Six point something. Okay. Yeah. Typo error, uh. not 16. Uh. Six. Uh. Is it 16? 16 or 6? Six? 6, right? Mm. Okay. So, example. Uh, if the question gives you FCC, you should able to draw this diagram. Okay. Uh, if the question start to mention FCC, the question won't give you this diagram. Again, this is tutorial question. So uh, we will be very helpful to give you as many information you have. But when it comes to tests, sometimes you only see one paragraph like that. Uh, so when you see paragraph like that, Again, you need to draw something first. Draw something, then only you analyze. So this one, FCC, usually you need to draw this, this diagram with the R and A. So these are the things that we expected. Lah. You draw a cube, label A, label square root 2A, label 4R, write this equation. Here, about four marks three to four marks for this diagram with the formula. You are given radius, atomic radius, you are given R value, 0 0.1278 nanometer. Assume the atoms to be hard sphere that touch each other along the face diagonal of FCC. So th this atom, this sphere touch with this sphere, touch with this sphere. Uh, as shown in figure below, in task, we will remove this, this word. Uh, so the question will, section A will ask you, we will instruct you to uh, illustrate the FCC figure with the hard sphere diagram or reduced sphere diagram. Calculate theoretical value for density of copper in megagram per cubic meter. Atomic mass of copper will be 63.54 gram per mole. So you need to calculate volume and density equal equal what? Mass volume what you have here FCC FCC A equal to what? Equal to what R? 4 over square root of 2. What is the value for copper? What is the A for copper? That's the value. Uh, 
I, where do you get? Uh, huh? A, A, I'm asking you the A. A for copper. In the side of this one. Or is the value for A in meter? What number you get? I meet her. Power? You get this number? Okay. So you substitute here A cube. Mass just now. You can calculate by N A by divided by Avogadro number. You are given the A. Right? Okay, so you recalculated the A. A will be 3.61 10 power negative 10 meter. Okay. Or straight away you put in nanometer. Uh, doesn't matter uh, as long as you put in the meter form. Uh, okay, density equal to mass divided by volume. So in FCC, how many sphere you have? Four. So this one you need to you need to write uh, this statement. You need to write somewhere in your answer. FCC have four atom per unit cell. This you need to write. Uh, Okay, then for copper, you need to refer to periodic table because it's tell you that uh, this one, right, 63.55, this one 63.54, okay, so it asks you the theoretical, huh? So copper have a mass of 63.55 gram per mole in the periodic table. So one mole, you have 6.2 10 power 33 atom per mole. So the mass of copper in FCC unit will be N, you have four, four sphere. So N multiplied by A, A will be 63.55 okay. divided by number of Avogadro, Avogadro. This one, we assume you already know. This 6.02 10 power 23 atom per mole will, will not be given in the test. Ah, okay. To calculate, you get in the gram because the question asks you to give in something gram, mega gram. Okay. So you put your answer in gram. Of course you can you can uh, you can do some modification or rearrangement of the equation. So if mega, then this one will be uh, plus six. Uh. Okay. So, sorry, I think uh, mass. You calculate, uh, I think some, some error. I think either minus 23 or minus 22. You calculate. Uh, 22, uh, okay. So, uh, type of error over here. Ah, yeah, okay, the point shifter. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. This one 42 point something. So it shift one decimal in front, so it becomes 0.22. Okay. You substitute inside. Okay, volume is A cube. So 
So you take the m, this value, divided by this value, you'll get 8.933 gram over cm cube. This is a theoretical density. So you might ask why the question gives you 63.54. Uh, this actually does to show you the question. If the question gives you 63.54, you use 63.54. Uh, of course, when this is the tutorial question, when it comes to test, this information will be deleted because in the question, you will see periodic table at the last page of the question paper. We assume you know how to do, how to use periodic table already. Yeah, this is a tutorial question. That's why you have a lot of information inside here. So when it comes to test question, atomic mass information will be deleted. This diagram will be deleted. Uh, this line sh as shown in figure will be deleted. So the step that expected is first, we expect you draw this diagram, write this formula, expect you to give Avogadro number, then you substitute, do rearrangement of the units. Okay. Uh, this one, uh maybe correct okay so i think this one do not answer the question we got a question ask you calculate in megagram per cubic meter the answer give in gram per cm cube you need to change this one into megagram per, but actually it's the same you just change the c tensor you put m in, uh, at the top it's the same, huh? You remove the C, become bottom one is negative six. You move up, become positive six, the index. So it become megagram. Okay. So this answer not complete because the question asks you to do in megagram per cubic meter. Uh, so this is not complete, huh? This answer not complete. Okay, just now is on the cube density. Okay, volume density means you look at the cube. Another one, ah. uh -huh. what you get? F496, okay. You need to check back either your value that you use. Uh, I think this this value, this value, the one that you use, maybe because of the uh, a value, the atomic mass value. Just now we use six six three point five five. Uh, so if you six three point five, this one. Oh, I think this one used the. Uh, but anyway. Uh, Important that you know how to calculate. Yeah. Yeah, the the correct answer should be in a megagram over meter cube. This is not complete. Uh, this answer not complete. Uh, if uh, final marks for the answer will be two marks, you give this one, you only score one mark. Uh, you not complete. Uh, OK. Uh, OK, next we move on. From a cube to a planner density it means we slice the thing, we slice the cube, then we look at the, the slice at the, on top of the air four paper. What is the density on the plane? Ah. So it's still the same. It's still using the concept of density, mass divided by volume. 
but because this is planner, planner only have 2D. 2D only have area. Ah. So of course you want to calculate volume, your thickness is one. Ah. So it still become area. Ah. So you take equivalent of number atoms that the center intersect by the plane. You cut, then you see the center at the plane divided by selected area. So selected area, like for example, the cube you cut is the plane area. It's a plane area. So for example, this one you cut like that is this area. So this is A. If uh, this is uh, BCC. So this is A, this is A, this is square two of A. The area will be uh, A square square root of two. The area of this plane, if, if the question give you uh, this plane by giving you one cutting plane uh, equation, then the area that you calculate is this one, square root A multiplied by A, you get this one. Substitute this one under here. Then here you see how many uh, atoms intersect. Oh, for example, uh, BCC is like that. Nah. You cut already, you see, you see there's a round sphere at the middle, this one, like that. All right. So here, what do you see? It's actually uh, one, a two. Okay. okay, for example, BCC, you have a plane of one, one, zero. One, one, zero means you move in X, you move in X, okay, move in X, one, Move in Y, move in Y, one. This one, Z is you flip the thing. If it's reciprocal, you get infinity. So infinity move up. So you slice like this. Uh, so the question give you uh, to calculate this one, it sure will give you this plane, something one plane. Then you need to draw the cube showing the cutting plane. Uh, something like this. Lah. Uh, so of course the question won't give you we won't ask you one one zero plane again. Uh, it will ask you another plane. Uh. Okay. So when you slice FCC, uh, sorry BCC, you are seeing the diagram on the on the right. Means sphere at the center. Uh, this one, this one, and this one, this one. So you have uh, four corners. Like that. Okay. Uh, so on the top. Equivalent of atom whose center are uh, intersect by the selected area. So this is center, 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 center. This one center. So here got one sphere. You combine these four, you get another sphere. So got two sphere inside here. Okay. Uh, okay. So here you say my intersect center. So in plane. Center is five, huh? so it's five, not two. Huh? Five. You calculate by atom. How many center point that intersect? Huh? So if, for example, FCC this one, ah uh, sorry, BCC got five. Huh? So five center, 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 five. It's not about area. It's about atoms that you see at center point. Okay, equivalent only two atom counted, uh, because you. You combine everything. Okay, so we put this one as example. BCC. Over here is BCC. Question will be ask you FCC or HCP. Yeah. So BCC. So if we are taking this uh, example, if you have BCC, you slice at plane one one zero. You will be seeing this diagram. So, uh, draw this diagram. Draw this diagram. If the question asks you about the density of the planar, uh, planar density, you draw these two diagram. So here will cost you about five marks already. This one maybe three marks, this one at two marks. It depends on complexity. Lah. So for test one, maybe this one five marks, this one five marks. Uh, more easier to score in test one. You are given a plane. Uh, Formula bracket round bracket one one zero 
of an alpha ion BCC lattice. BCC lattice means in this form, you draw BCC uh, in atom per square millimeter. Lattice constant alpha uh, is 0 0.287. Lattice constant is A. Yeah? Lattice constant is this small A. This is lattice constant. Okay. So you just write the general formula. Planar atomic density rho P equal to equivalent numbers uh, whose center intersect by the selected area. This one you write. Lah. Uh, divided by selected area. Or in short, if you just write equivalent of number atoms divided by selected area, also I give you correct. As long as you write something that show that you understand. Uh, okay. So here is number of atoms. Uh, it intersect five atoms, but equivalent to two atoms. So here is equivalent. Eh? You, you need to write equivalent number atom, not number of atom. It intersect five atoms, but equivalent is two. Yeah, intersect five atoms, but equivalent to two atoms. You need to draw. You need to write this one. You need to show the working. How you got get two, one atom bracket center four at the corner get two, then you substitute. Okay, you substitute inside. So two atoms at the top and the area will be uh, square root of two bracket 0 0.27, 0 0.82, 0 0.287 nano. Nano is 10 power negative nine. Bracket square, get square. So he asks you in millimeter. He asks you to put the density in atom per square meter. You need to put in millimeter. After you do conversion, this one, 10 power negative 9 square, you get minus 18. Minus 18, you need to get into minus 3. So you need to delegate a little bit. Ah. Because 2 divided by this number, maybe you get a decimal place there. Uh, so this one, you need to make arrangement for the unit. Uh, error, tell us mistakes will be the index here. You might be very weak in the conversion of uh, prefix. Just take note. Lah. Okay, usually in the test uh, or final exam, the final marks will cost you only two marks. Two to three marks, uh, it depends. Uh. Uh, uh, and there's a mark for working for the steps you, that you write. So for example, this one come out in test one. Uh, this one uh, won't be one question alone. It may be half of the question, maybe 12 marks or 13 marks, it depends. So if 12 marks, then you see how many steps you have. Look. Two marks, three, uh, this one one mark. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or maybe this one six, one mark, one mark, one mark, one mark, one mark, two mark. So you got six marks for calculation. So if the question is 12 marks, then three marks here, three marks here. Diagram is important in this diagram, uh, in this module. Uh, so you do you can do calculation, but without diagram, you, you, you won't score marks for the diagram. Yeah. Okay. Just now we going from box, the cubic, go into plane. Then there's one more formula with this line. Line means in that line, that direction, how many sphere that, how many atoms that you intersect? Okay. Um, 
the earlier one is based on cube for material uh, sampling. You need to know that one crystalline cubic, how many atoms there, so that you can calculate what, how many atoms you can fit in to strengthen the material. This one is to sampling. Uh, you want to know uh, how you rearrange the position on the plane itself. The space that you have here, you want to know. Right. Another one is on the laser direction, a linear atomic density. So rho L equal to number of atom diameter, number of atom diameter intersected by the selected length of line in the direction of interest. Selected divided by selected length of line. Uh, okay. This one you read. Uh. So if you have uh, two distance that is the same, you call repeated distance. Okay. For example, if you have a cube, This cube is at the top. Huh? So you're given a direction from here to here is equivalent to. Sorry, I need to draw another. Or maybe here. Here, this this face, this direction is equal to this direction. So this is called repeated. Uh, repeat distance. This A1, uh, no, A1, A1, A2, this one is repeated. So let's apply this one. You are given a direction. Again, direction is a bracket. Bracket direction. Uh, six one. So you need to draw cubic again. Draw the cube. Draw the cube. Then show where is the direction. For example, this one is 110. 110, move X, move Y, Z0. So your vector go this one, combine with this vector, resultant is here. So you draw this blue color arrow. Then you then you write bracket, cut square bracket, 110. Because this is FCC, you don't need to draw what is inside the cube. You only need to know the line. Along the line, what do you see? So this is FCC, so you have a circle in the middle, two atoms at the beginning and the end of the arrow. Of course, you can draw another sphere at the X area and Y area. No issue. But it just confuse you. So, you only draw what is interest along the line. Then select the length of the line to be length of the face diagonal of FCC with is square root of two. So this is square root of two A. Uh, because this is A, this is A. You get the hypotenuse will be square root uh, two, two square A. Huh? So number of atom diameter intersect by this length. The keyword here is diameter. So you need to calculate how many diameter equal. Like for example, one diameter. Uh, okay, FCC, you, you can calculate back the R, right? So here, A equal to something R, you can calculate. So you need to reverse back 
this equation by putting r as your uh, primary parameter. Right. So here from the diagram, we have one atom at the center and half atom, half atom. Total, you have two atoms along the line. Okay, number of atom diameter intersect by this length. If the focus here is diameter. So this is one R, two R, two R equal to one diameter. So you have two atoms. So linear, you put inside this equation. So two atoms divided by length of line is square root of 2a. You substitute the a, 0 0.361 nanometer. The question asks you to put in millimeter. You need to do conversion, right? Uh, so do conversion. This is nano. You need to put in uh, per millimeter. So 10 power negative 9. Uh, reserve minus 3 below. You pull 6 in front. Uh, on the top, you will get mega atoms per mm. Okay. Uh, so the whole morning, we're still looking at density with its mass divided by volume. Uh, depends on what the question wants you to do. The question can ask you uh, volume density, which is look at the cube. The question can ask you planar density, which is rho p, which is look at the plane. The question can ask you uh, line density, with this row L that asks you what have it intersect by the line. Okay. Uh, so, so far, I think no much issue. Lah. Okay. The rest is information. Follow uh, polymorphosis is another chemical word. Poly, poly means many. Morphosis means change of shape. So polymorphosis means many, many shapes. In this case, we're looking at many, many uh, different lattices. It can change from BCC to FCC. For example, uh, the, for example, firm. Firm BCC, but when you change uh, temperature, it can change BCC to FCC. After 1,400 degrees C, you will change back from FCC to BCC. That's why this one, you will see different colors of ferrum at a certain temperature. You can see green color, orange color, uh, and so on. There are three colors of ferrum. So. Okay. Uh, this is called polymorphosis. Uh, this is just for your info. You will see this one when you come to phrase diagram in chapter six or seven. Okay. So you will see alpha, gamma, delta, and so on. This is just for info. What happens when you have a tin that you have a different temperature? Okay. So white tin will be something like this at a certain temperature. When you cool down to 13.2 or you move a tin to a cold country, it becomes brittle and it will become gray color. This become a problem in the World War. Uh, where the medals or the soldier will change according to the location where they deploy. Okay. Uh, and also, it makes the weapon become uh, not useful at a, at a certain temperature. The, the weapon might jam or things. All right. So, this one you read. Lah, huh? This one is the problems. Lah. Okay, uh, just a quick one. Example 12, is, it tells you how to do calculation from polymorphic uh, transformation from FCC to BCC structure. Calculate theoretical volume change. Theoretical volume change uh, from FCC to BCC. So FCC, you know, in this, in this uh, diagram, you know already. So you write, a equal to what R, BCC is like this. So you have A equal to 4R 
divided by square root of three. The question asks you theoretical volume change. How you calculate volume for this one? A cube, A cube. So you have A equal to something R, A equal to something R. You make comparison from here to here. What is the changes of percentage? So these are the things you calculate lah, volume. So BCC, you have a volume. Uh, volume per atoms is uh, critical volume change. Eh? Uh, so you take A cube divided by four for FCC, for BCC divided by two. So you compare lah, both. Okay, you compare both. You get 83.33 percentage. We become more and more uh, bigger. The volume has expand. Okay, so from FCC to BCC, it expand. Okay, have a look in example 12. Then uh, we continue this one next lecture. We have we have two hours, right? Okay, we have a short break. Lah. Okay, uh, five minutes. Okay, 9.05 we continue.